Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to Let's Look at Warhammer 40,000 Space Wolf. Also, there will be a giveaway in this episode by the end because I got um, five extra codes from the developer to give to my viewers, which I think is wonderful of them. And later on I will tell you what to do to get them. But first, please stick around, watch the video and see if you would actually like the game. I have played through the tutorial. Um, I wanted, to, um, I recorded it, but there was a bit of a problem with the graphics, so I decided to just do over and just play the first mission of the campaign instead. So, Warhammer 40,000 Space Wolf, obviously Warhammer Universe, and it is actually a remaster of a modern mobile game, but um, don't hold it against it, because I am liking what I'm seeing so far. Let's just dive into the mission, shall we? It has a story campaign, and it is um, it doesn't have voice acting, unfortunately. I think some over-the-top classic Warhammer voice acting could do very well for this game. Like, you know what I mean by over-the-top voice acting, right? Like, I need to cleanse the area of traitors and locate surviving Puck brothers. You know, like Warhammer Dawn of War, one head. This, this extra over-the-top, it really fits thematically. It would fit this game anyway. Um, yeah, you are the Space Wolf Space Marines, and this is a card-based tactical game, uh, which I wouldn't, th I didn't think I'd like, but I'm actually liking this one. It also has a system uh, that um, this, these numbers in the up right corner of the cards mean how much they will delay you. Basically, you have two action points; you can play two cards per round but your round will come after a number of ticks of time equal to the sum of these that you use in your turn. It might sound weird, but it is quite obvious, really, once you get into it. So I can use these cards to act or to move. Let's use this one to move. This was my first action point, and facing is actually quite important. And see, we have accumulated five points of this... Uh, I don't remember what it's named. What it's called. What is it? Uh, effort, I think it's effort points. And now, um, I still have one action point left, but let me see, uh, let me show you something. I have five, the enemy has eight. When I click end turn, just trickles down the points. Now I have zero, the enemy has three. So I basically get to act again before they do. And I have several weapons, some of them I can equip and use multiple times, some of them are just single use. Um, it's it seems a bit weird, though it actually plays quite well, at least from what I've seen in the tutorial. Now it's our time to act. So, for example, this is a, pl a plasma pistol. It will deal 115 damage, 85% accuracy, and may occasionally deal extra damage to me. And if the target doesn't have defense points, which are this little bit, uh, which you can get by shields and stuff like that, then it deals extra damage. Now, are you in range? You are not in range. So I can either do nothing, or I can move closer to the enemy and then attack them. What is this? This is a flamer. A flamer attacks multiple bits of territory. The so chainsaw, and there is the jetpack. I'm going to use my chainsaw. I'm going to use the chainsaw to move. You can use it to attack or to move. I'm going to use it to move, and I have an extra action point. Brother, this is uh, Varga twice slain speaking. If you can still stand on your feet and your arms are still strong enough to strike at the, at the All Father's foes, now it is time to respond. Oh, cool, we get an extra unit. Harold, he's a Terminator. I've sworn to die for Russ and the All Father, but I'll be damned if I don't take care. Actually, um, yeah, I probably didn't tell you about what the game is about. Uh, the intro didn't really speak about it, but it showed a space marine uh, spaceship uh, get hit and shot down by Chaos forces crashing into the planet, and here we are. And we're doing something. I'm not sure what we're doing, but let's just focus on doing it. Um, okay, but I'll be damned if I don't take a hundred or two traitors down with me. My hammer is at your command. Yeah, cool. Oh, there's more of us. It's a scout. Uh, I'm glad to hear the voices of my friends. My rifle has long been waiting for its prey. 
and my dagger is ready to feast on enemy blood, moving on to rendezvous point. All this time I've had faith the enemy wouldn't be able to get rid of us that easily. Let's rendezvous as the old comes at the old comms post. Traitors have no doubt intercepted our signal, so be prepared to carve out a path. Okay, so we're supposed to meet over there. We can scroll around. Oh, there's more enemies. Here they are. Let's scroll around the map and see. It seems like each character will have their own obstacles to overcome. I'm fine with that. Okay, we have one more action point. Now, I could end my turn now, but the enemy will still act before me. Uh, so I think it is better to just attack them now. Let's shoot them with the plasma pistol. The, okay, so we got both extra effects. The positive one, because... Oh. Wait a minute. How did the plasma pistol make him act faster? Also... Did I misread it somehow? Seems like the plasma pistol is actually shit. Let me... Can I see my cards of this guy? No, I cannot. Oh well. Okay, now we are... The Terminator, Harold. Okay, so this is a melee weapon. Uh, this is... A power fist. Target discards two defend... Two cards. This gives us defense. It is useful. Quite useful later. It can be quite useful later on, but um, the enemy is at eight uh, effort. I'd say so. If we use less than eight right now, then we'll get to act again before they do, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the move card to move up here, and now I'm going to end my turn so I can move before this guy does. Okay, now it's the scout's turn. What's the range of this? Range 3, that's a bolt pistol. This is a melee range, what is this? Additional... Yeah, these chain effects uh, trigger automatically from other cards, even if uh, you do what it requires you to do. Mm. Yeah, that's about it. Lowers your total effort by 3. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, so he has 8. If I wanted to use... Let's just move now. If I want to act before he does, I could use another 5 effort thing to move. And then maybe use this. I could use this now. No, it costs an action point. It costs an action point, so I won't be able to do that. Okay, let's end the turn now, then. I'll still get to act before the enemy. The Chaos cards are actually quite high effort, usually. So we do have an advantage in uh, that. Okay, now we move before they do. Uh, I suppose I'll just... Uh, I'll just move closer to the enemy character. And whack them with a hammer. Let's whack them with our hammer. Ignores armor. Well, he doesn't have armor, but still we can take him out in a single hit. And that's the only weapon that can do that, so let's do that. Only weapon that we own, that we have, that can do that. So he won't be able to attack us. Okay, now we have the scout. We have a sniper rifle. We can equip it. If I equip it, it's a very high range. If I equip it, I will be able to use it without expanding the card. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the overwatch capability, but that is still quite good. So I can equip it and shoot it from this distance even. And it will probably kill the enemy. So let's do it. It's quite powerful, but it uh, uses up the ammunition. Let's use it. Ah, crap. I'm not standing properly. Okay, I don't really need to move in this turn. I can let him move, because he's not in my range anyway. So what I'm going to do is just uh, lower my effort with this card. Do I need to? I don't think I need to. 
I'll just save it for later. No, no, let's use it. There's no reason not to. Get to act faster. That is quite a long range weapon. I should probably... Okay, now he is in the attack range of... Crap, I discarded something, but I can't discard the thing that I have equipped, I think. So he is in my range now. This guy isn't, though, and that could prove to be a bit of a problem. Maybe I didn't do this completely right, but we'll be fine. Now, I do have some other weapons now. What is this? Mm, that's a shotgun. 180 damage. That is a heavy bolter. I don't need any of these. I just need a basic weapon to finish this guy off. So let's use that. Oh, wait a minute. Range 4 affects all targets. No, they're too far away from each other for this to work. So I'm just gonna use the plasma pistol to get rid of this guy completely. Okay, my effort is 5, his effort is 11. So if I use something that is effort 5, uh, then I might act before him, but I don't have anything that is appropriate. So I should just uh, end the turn now, so I can still get to act before he does. If I use effort 6, um, we still don't have effort 6. So let's end the turn. Right, what do we have here? Destroys armor, triplex pattern, melt a gun. Okay, I'm gonna use uh, the sniper rifle. To get rid of this guy. Perfect. Now, this guy is at 13 effort, and we're at 11. So if I end the turn now, I'll be able to move again before he does. Let's do that. Okay, it's our turn. I need to get closer, and I need to deal a lot of damage. I can't deal enough damage. What's the range on this? Five, that is... Oh, actually, yes, that is enough. And what's the range on this? Four, that's... Okay, I can just shoot him twice. How about the shotgun? Or this? I probably could have just used this, and it was... No, he... I think he was standing over here. I think he was standing over here. All right, let's use this bolter. And finish him off so he doesn't get to attack us again with this bolter. All right, then. That deals with the enemy. Now here. Oh, we got the cool hammer again. If I can get up close and personal with this guy, then I can just whack him with a hammer. I don't have enough action points, but if I split it up into two turns, so first move... Oh, actually, I can get close enough. All right, let's do it that way, then. Just... Where, ah, crap. I need to be right in front of him. Never mind, then. Um, I will end the turn now, because we'll still get to act before him if we do. Okay, now we get to move again. Move additional... Damage when attacking with melee weapon. Yeah, I don't need additional damage for this guy. Just use this to move. What? Damn it. What are you doing? Oh, that's equipment crate. It's one of the crates from our ship's chapter forge. You can find a master crafted weapon there. Cool. Alright, and now I'll use the amazing hammer to whack him again. I mean, whack another one to be precise. That is quite a good weapon. Okay, that gets rid of them. And there's just one left. This has a range of how much? Two to six. Now, I can actually use this to reload the weapon that I have here. Which might be a better use of it. For now, I need to turn, because turning is a move. Let me just check what the range of this is. From two to six, so I can't get too close to the enemy. I think if I stand here, that is... Just in case, I'm gonna stand here. Can't have them, you know, not be affected. It's 250, and that's 230. Uh, using this might be safer, but I wanna use it to reload. I'm not sure how many bullets I'll get if I do one or two. So we'll use this one instead. Okay, I could have gone one step further. And the enemy's dead. 
I just need to get closer. Draw two cards. Oh, cool. Yeah, let's do that. How many cards can I hold, though? Okay. Let's use this. Oh, I can't use this to move. I can use these to move. Let's use the flamer to move. And let's draw some cards. Right, your turn. Ooh, we can equip a bolter. The Overwatch property is quite cool. So let us do it. Select equip slot, wonderful. And as we are not in a hurry, I'm also going to equip the shield. Or rather, use the shield to get some armor. Now, your turn. No, let's, let's first reload the rifle. How many bullets do I get? I get two bullets, so that is good in the efficiency side of things, but, I mean, equipment efficiency, not action efficiency. This, I think this is an indicator of all the enemies to kill, so I highly, I expect there to be more. Ooh, this is a wonderful card. A very powerful bolter, we can equip it, and if it has an overwatch property, then we will automatically fire at enemies coming into range, I believe. Let's use this to move. Where are the two cards that I drew? Oh, I do love those hammers. Right, restore stuff. Uh, target discards cards. Melt gun destroys armor. I'm probably not going to be using the melt gun. Now let's just move closer to the crate. So let's use that for the movement. And here come the enemies. Well, we have kind of spent all our, all of our actions. Can't really do anything about that now. But we are well defended. That should not be a problem. That is quite a dangerous looking chainsaw. Macarius Combi Plasma. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of the plasma guns. Anyway, um, should I use the shotgun to move? Range 2, 4, range 4. Let's use the chainsaw to move. Now we still have the, the jump pack, which can let us go over obstacles. Uh, I might want to end my turn now, then I'll be able to attack him. But if I let him close... Actually, yeah, let's, let's end the turn now. Now, you. You do have your wonderful gun. If I can get close enough to deal with the enemy, uh, I don't think I can. This is a really short range sniper rifle. Ah, if only I could move one more bit. And I could move one more bit, but if I don't, he'll move towards me anyway, so let's just end the turn so that he can get closer to us instead. Yeah, that is the good side of the Overwatch weapons. And now we can finish him off with the hammer, if we so choose. Oh, you had to discard a card. Hopefully it wasn't uh, the hammer. Yeah, taking some serious damage, but we will kill him soon. Now, what should I shoot him with? I could draw extra cards, but it doesn't seem like a good choice at the moment. Okay, which one is stronger? This one is stronger. Theoretically, no, actually this one will be, because he doesn't have armor, and it has higher accuracy. So I'm going to use the shotgun to move, and the plasma pistol to shoot, although I, as I said, I don't really like the plasma weapons. They deal damage to you as well. He's alive. Oh, right, and also it speeds the enemy up. I still didn't, I still didn't get how. Maybe I missed a bit. Hmm. 
range. How does that work? We get extra rage cards. Is that it? Or an extra turn? Well, that's a high range weapon. I'd rather use something. Oh, this destroys armor, and some of those guys are armored, no? Well, not for much longer. I suppose I'll just use this then. Click rapidly. What? Oh, huh. it's like... Okay. I mean, it would have killed them anyway. Don't need to click rapidly for this to work. Uh, anyway, I need to move. I suppose I could use the jetpack. I have no other use for it. Or I could just draw some cards. Or use that to move. Do I keep the extra cards? I don't think I can keep I keep the extra cards. Let's use this to move. Okay, scout's turn. Now this deals a lot of damage, but doesn't destroy armor. This destroys armor. So let's use that one instead. Oh, he has a card that lowers his, uh, you know, sequence. And now I can use the sniper rifle to finish him off. Okay. That deals with that. Okay, can I use this? No, I need to be standing right next to the enemy. Which one of them should I kill? I will have to... Wait a minute, this is... how much? 12. So if I use this and this, then I'll be able to move again before he does. And possibly, well, won't be able to kill him because he has a bit too much health left. Oh, I can use this to reload my bolter gun. And let's not use that. Let's use this to move over here and whack him with a hammer. Now that was quite easy. Now you just move towards the meeting zone and move towards the meeting zone. Actually, I don't really need the jetpack for anything. Let's use that. Maybe we can get a better card. I could go back and help our guys, but it doesn't look like they need help. Okay, and now I can act again. Move over here and whack this guy with a hammer. That will not be enough to destroy him, but if we trigger an overwatch or something, then it will be. He missed it twice. That's quite unfortunate for him. And again, we had the defensive bit, so he didn't really cause any damage to us. Can I use this to reload? I cannot, because this is a different weapon type. Okay, let's just move towards... Actually, I could move towards the crate with this guy, because our other guy will be busy killing this guy. Nah, let's just move towards the commander. You can heal both of them after that. And Harold doesn't really need healing. Okay, and now we're gonna heal. Restore 100 vitality to all allies within 4 cells. Oh, that's a very high range, actually. Healing through screaming, that sounds very orc-like. Okay, I really do like uh, this weapon. I suppose I could use this one and then reload reload it with the bolter pistol, or I could just use the bolter pistol. Let's just use the bolter pistol. Okay, we got an extra card from using uh, the bolter pistol. And now we can move. Oh, this is a weaker move card, so we, uh, let's use this one. Towards the crate. Okay, you have a heal sk skill as well. Only works on, only works on yourself. 
Well, that is good enough. And let's use this to reload our weapon. Because we're kind of waiting for more enemies to appear. It will probably happen when we get closer. Open the chest. Challenge complete. Uh, you have rece mm, recovered one of these crates. You still need to complete the mission before you'll be able to use the weapon you found. Cool. Yes. Wonderful. Now let's move more. I suppose I could just reload the bolter. Let's just reload the bolter for now. We're in no rush. I think the enemies will happen once we are all in position. So let's just keep healing ourselves for now. And end your turn now. Okay. I don't really have any shield cards, so I can't fortify myself. Just gonna move towards my friends over here. Okay. You should probably take up a, pos a defensive position. And for example, over here. Alright, and that's it for you. Oh, it's your turn again. Can you end the turn again? Yeah, I didn't really want, want him to do anything. Uh, oh, I could get extra defense before we do anything else. Well, we're about to go into battle, probably. So let's do that. And get closer to our commander. This destroys armor could be useful. Uh, yeah, we'll just use this to move. Okay, and now you, do you have another heal skill? No. Just move you into position then. You also have overwatch. And that will be the end of your turn. Yeah, I'm fully expecting the enemy to attack once we get into position. Uh, you are at full health. So I can't really use this. Also, I'll just end the turn. Same here. <laughs> um, okay, I'll just use it to get rid of this. Yeah, give me the other guy. Perfect. Move here. Brethren, I'm glad you've made it here alive. Tell me what happened to your squad. My squad took the landing barely and ended up, ended up in another trap. Everyone perished except for me. The traitors were just too many. I'm in a similar situation. The only difference being that the landing itself was the fateful moment for my squad. I suffered several serious injuries, but was able to get out of the wreckage before the ammo containers exploded. See, the enemy likely planned the attack in advance. I swear we will rip out the throat of every chaos bastard for our fallen brethren, transmitting rally point coordinates. Chorus Redsmith, I'm moving out to join you. Damn it, my scan is showing enemy landing capsules in your sector. Hold your position until I arrive and try to stay out of the enemy landing zone. Well, I did expect that to happen fully. Let's see what sort of enemies we're facing. Ah, I moved wrong. I should have facing these guys. Okay, I still have one move left. I think it will be best if I just... Uh, we have the capability of overwatching, so when these guys land... I could turn around. No, no, that's fine. Let's just stay where you are. You. You need to move a bit. We won't be able to handle these guys anyway. You don't have overwatch. Let's move you over here. Let's move you over here, and maybe that will be sufficient to fire at these guys. Mm, almost. Pity. Okay, let's end the turn then. Oh, just use this instead. And now it's our captain. He has the long-range bolter. 
I need to move in position to use it properly. Let's do that. Mm, it deals 180 damage and extra damage to guys with no armor, so to this guy. Almost there. Almost did it. Okay, now it is our turn. If I move right next to my commander, I can shoot these guys too. Mm, yeah, I can use this to reload. Let's leave it for that and just use the equipped weapon. Now, this guy has armor, but I'll use it on this one, so he just dies and doesn't act. Right, your turn now. As the enemies will land here, I should probably get a bit closer in advance. Will it damage the surrounding hexes? I'm not sure. Let's risk it. Because this is a drop pod coming in, right? Uh, I suppose I could just use this to heal myself. Alright. Overwatch. Ah. Good, wonderful. And with that, we'll be able to destroy him with the sniper or with the captain. And here's a new pod, and our guy is ready for them. Now it is the captain's turn, and he does. Does he have enough firepower to destroy the guy? Uh, yes, with this. Here you go. Crap, we missed. Damn it. Well, fortunately, I do have another move. I can use that to reload my super amazing bot, which I should have used right uh, a moment ago, and I forgot I could do that. Uh, so I should probably just be doing that instead. Then again, this will be enough to destroy him, so let's do that. And we can reload it with the other one. I forgot to use the equipped weapon, which I should have done, because it was better. Now, I can move and attack. And that is exactly what I'm going to do, because I can take out this guy in a single hit. How much damage does this deal, though? Not enough damage. I'll stand right here. And whack him. One hit kill. Pretty good. Okay, whose turn is it? The scout's turn. Okay, we need to move, position ourselves properly to attack the enemy that is about to land. And I should probably reload the weapon as well. Although that will. Oh crap, it does only hold two bullets. In which case I just wasted a move. Damn it. Okay, too late now. Alright, your turn. You do have overwatch capabilities, so if we position you correctly, you will be able to fire at the guys that are about to land. So we're gonna do just that. Also, you do have a flamer, which we can use to smoke both of them. Yeah, there's, there's probably gonna be two at the same time. Okay. This cannot hit diagonally. Can this hit diagonally? Yes, it can. And it makes them discard cards. I suppose I could do that. Or, as he is at 10, I can just move right next to him and wait and have a turn before he acts. Okay, you just need to wait where you are. How do I do that? And here's the capsule. The pod. Alright. I could use the hammer twice, or I could use something shittier once, and then the hammer once. Both should work well enough. So I can just use my equipped bolter. 
Or I could have used the melter thing to destroy the armor. Damn it, should have done that. His dart is not enough damage to kill him. Crap, screwed up. I screwed up. Still, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Now you are going to take out both of these guys at once, because we have prepared you to do so. One. And two. That was quite easy, wasn't it? There's uh, just one enemy remaining. Yeah, we'll destroy him in the next move, but... Should have... Uh, should have destroyed him already. I just picked uh, the wrong things. Uh, you just skip your turn. The Terminator is gonna kill him. Yes, yes. You don't, you don't need to worry about us. Okay. Uh, what do we do? I could use the Power Fist. I do like to look at the Power Fist. Although the hammer is still my favorite thing. Okay, cool. That does it. And here comes the story bit. The Thunderhawk has arrived. Victory is ours. Completed a mission and recovered a chapter. Great. Got a Mars button. Eh, these are crap. Still? Okay, new squad members, scout armor, scout cards. Terminator armor. Oh, yes, I do like that. I think I'll fit it to my guy. And here you have deck management, kinda, and all the other things like that. Your armory. Just fit myself with the Terminator armor instead of a normal one. And I think I should. The Terminator armor is quite cool. Anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to end this video here. Um, as for my impressions, I kinda like this. It is not... It is... It is a remaster of a mobile game, which which shows, but it is a good remaster of a mobile game. It is a um, semi-casual tactical game, uh, with depth if you want it, you can manage your decks and so on. And I think I will play this again, although probably while watching TV or something like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so the overall impression is rather positive. Now, for the giveaway that I promised at the very beginning. I have five extra codes to give out. Five or four? One of those. I'm not sure. Anyway, that should be enough for some of you to get them. I think it's five. I need to check it, damn it. Why haven't I checked it? Anyway, um, this is the first time I'm doing a giveaway, so I might be... Um, I might make some wrong decisions here, but I think it would it will be cool to do it in such a way that uh, if you wanted the game, if you feel like it's something that you will enjoy, uh, enter in the comments below this video um, what or why you like or dislike about Warhammer 40,000, either what you like about Warhammer 40,000 or what you dislike about it, or why you like or dislike the whole universe, the whole setting, and give us, uh, give, give me reasons why. And I will try to assess not which opinion I agree with, but which is the best argued opinion, because I do value good uh, discussion. And um, I will reward the ones that I find to be well well argued, uh, well argued arguments, yeah, well, well motivated arguments. And if there's more uh, well motivated arguments than I have codes available, then I will select the ones that I think are well argued, and then I will just throw a die and select uh, the winners randomly. And I will make another video announcing uh, the winners. How much time? Let, let's say hmm, three days? Three days from when this video goes live? Or do you think three days is enough? I might extend it, I might extend it later on, but for now let's say it's three days. Uh, from when uh, this goes live, and if after three days you can, don't get an announcement of winners, that means I've extended it and there will be a comment under it. Uh, and, okay, long story short, if you want this, uh, and I'll send the codes in private messages. Again, long story short, if you want to win this game, enter in the comments 
what you like or dislike about Warhammer 40,000 and why. And I'll choose the best answers and then if there's more than I have codes, uh, I will randomly choose the winners. I hope you enjoyed the video, I kinda enjoyed this game, although it isn't something I just sit down to play, it is something I will probably gladly play while watching a TV series, for example. Yeah. That's about it, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will enjoy the giveaway. I'll see you soon, goodbye.